I'm taking a video of my arcade machine now to show uh, some of the features of it. Um, this is the front of it. I got a game. I got Crisis 3 as the screen save screen saver that I got straight from a PlayStation 3 disc. They had the picture on the uh, on the disc image, um, and I put it on a screen saver. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm a little nervous because uh, I, I kind of get nervous when I'm on videos, as you can tell. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna begin this. Um, let's see. I, I took the I took the uh, marquee off. Uh, uh, I took the marquee off. It's kind of dark in here. My lights, my my ceiling fans, lights burn out, and I can't get the thing to work right. Uh, I got the marquee screen off so you can see the light fixture in there. It's a little angle bracket with a light fixture across, and uh, I've got some parts so I can replace that. So because my starter is a little slow and it doesn't turn on right away instantaneously so I have to use a the starter I got a new starter and a new uh, ballast to put in there and it just screws into the wood and uh, let's we'll see if I can back up I told you my rooms kinda small so I don't have room to back up uh, here's the screen area it kinda it looks nice I like this the way the screen turned out uh, with the glass like you said like uh, my friend classic gamer freak he said that uh, he had glass on his yeah there's glass on mine it has glass, so it's very easy to break. Um, here's my control panel, which I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this whole control panel cause, and make it out of MDF wood because it's about the thickness of an MDF piece of MDF. And if I can just get a piece of MDF wood, I can redo it and uh, put six control. I only got two buttons. I ordered 12, so I got six on each side. And then I got two jo eight-way joysticks and uh, a trackball. I bought a nice trackball off eBay. And the trackball allows you to uh, move the mouse. I don't know if you see it. The mouse cursor moves with the trackball, so I can I can go on the screen here and click. Um, I have an arcade jukebox right here. It's a jukebox for your for your arcade machine. And, so, and then so this is the trackball, and then this is the push button for the trackball. It's kind of like a mouse. So I push that button, and it'll allow me to open up the screen. And then I just take the mouse, the trackball, and scroll up here to the program and start it okay run and then I have arcade jukebox 8 which is a software that lets you put a jukebox on your arcade machine it takes credits and coins so it's cool because you can play music okay here we go it's arcade jukebox 8 and it looks like a jukebox it's it's there's salmon I'm sorry I'm speaking so fast uh let me slow down a little it's a uh, arcade jukebox 8 Arcade Jukebox 8 lets you uh, play music like a kind of like a like old jukeboxes that have the the title in each words. The words are individually individually marked and stuff. And then there's one called Salmon Ju Salmon King Jukebox Salmon King. And me and him worked on it. and He quit working on it. So me and a bunch of my friends um, allowed allowed us to. Uh, help him pass it around the internet so if you want Salmon King Jukebox let me know and I can get that for you easy I'll show you where to find that uh, this is Arcade Jukebox this is it has little songs in here and you can my joystick right here moves them up and down you can move up and down into the songs and uh, I want to show you something okay that's the jukebox now I want to show you something really cool um, that you that I want you to see on my arcade um, this is the coin. This is the 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 dollar taker and the coin door. And I want to show you the dollar taker. This is cool. Uh, right now it won't play any songs because there's no credits on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put the dollar in here like this right here, and I'm going to put the dollar in the talk dollar taker. And then listen, it just inserted four credits in there from that dollar bill and the way I got that hooked up is I hooked the two wires from the dollar taker mechanism and it 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 has a relay in there and the relay clicks four times and every time it clicks the relay um hold on every time it clicks the relay let me pull my control panel down this is my wiring job every time it clicks the relay it takes these two yellow wires right here and it hooks into my eye pack to the coin 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 slot uh coin three 
And so every time that dollar taker clicks four times, here's the dollar taker from the back. The yellow wires are right here. Every time that the every time that the dollar goes in, see there's the dollar down there in the tray. There's a metal tray to catch the dollars. Every time the dollar taker clicks four times for every dollar, it sends four signals to this iPack. So then it clicks and it registers as four coins. So it, that's how that works. And then I, I wired all this up my hand self. I didn't get a, I didn't go online and get a kit or anything. I didn't get a pre-made wiring harness. I had to go to Radio Shack and cut all these wires by hand off of a spool of wire. So it's kind of handmade. It's daisy chain like every, like I daisy chained all my and I use these little clips to clip all the connectors on. So that's about the way I did that. And so that's pretty much what I did for the joystick panel. And here's some music playing in the background. It, it auto plays every 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds it starts playing by itself. And so it auto plays when you're not around so you get people's attention. So you can get their attention when they're not... <laughs> when, they're, when no one's around they'll say, Hey wait, music's playing, what is that? So I... The four credits also allowed me to uh, insert coins, so now I can go to songs like um, let's see. Hold on a second. Okay, Eye in the Sky by Eye in the Sky by Alan Parsons Project, and then what I do is I'll just go down here, and this, since I put a coin in there, I'll just hit this button here, and um. Hold on. Okay, and then it tells you now playing Allison, Allison Par Alan Parsons Project, the definitive collection disc, serious and uh, instrumental. And then the next song it'll say it'll say. Oh, I reset the coins. Hold on, let me let me go back down there. Hold on, I'm um, forgive me. I'm trying to get the dollar back out. Okay, let's put the dollar back in one more time so we'll get some credits. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Four credits. Okay, now let's go back over here. And we picked Eye in the Sky by Allison Parsons Project. That's the one we want to get. And then we hit the button. And then it says right here, coming up next, Alan Parsons Project. Uh, Eye in the Sky. There it goes, and there's Eye in the Sky just playing right after the other one. So that's the jukebox. That's a jukebox. It's pretty neat. I love the jukebox. Uh, let me show you down here. I didn't show you the coin door. The coin door is right here. It's got 25 cent uh, stickers. And it's got little plastic or metal. I think they're plastic slots. I wish they were metal. They're plastic. And it's got two old timey push release coin buttons. And I unlocked it so you can see the inside. I want to show you the inside of this. Okay, let me sit down. Let me sit down a minute. Oh. Okay, I wired this thing up. I rewired this box. Here's my counter. It doesn't work. I don't know how to run a counter with an iPack. I don't know how an iPack hooks up because it's 12 volts and you can't run 12 volts through the contact switches of the iPack without blowing it up. So I don't know how to hook up the coin yet, the counter yet. But it's at. Let's see. It's at uh. It's about, it's at 126,967. That's a good chunk of change that went through this machine. Uh, I put some new lights. I bought, I went to Radio Shack and bought some new lights. Uh, six volt, five volt lights to put in here, but I haven't wired them up yet. There's one there for the 25 cent and one over here for the 25 cent. And then these are the, here's the coin, here's the coin mix. Your coin mix, I saw, uh, classic gamer freak were uh, these tubes but then they went straight to the switch and so you rig had rigged up that great and wonderful idea of putting the cardboard tubing uh, cardboard tubing down to let the coins go through that was a brilliant idea that was smart uh, since you didn't have these yet these are uh, you can get these in metal or plastic they're uh, coin max and they're about $21 a piece I know you've probably seen them online now or you even have them you probably have them now uh, these these allow you the coins to detect whether it's a nickel or a quarter or a dime and spits it out and it only, only accepts 25 cents or, or if you have uh, tokens it can take tokens only or if you're in a foreign country you can put foreign coins in there 
and it'll only take foreign coins. Well, anyway, these I'll show you one of these in action. Here's a quarter. I'm going to put the quarter in there. You can see it go through there. And it comes out. Let me do it a few times. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? And it goes through the bottom, right through the switch. Right, and I wire all these switches up. And there's two switches, two big micro switches right here. Right there and right there. And, it, and that's the coin that's the coin box the door and goes right through and gives you a credit and if it comes out if it comes out and it, and it doesn't take it it'll come out if you put a dime or something here it'll come out here um, I've got a coin box mine came with a rack hold on mine came with a rack right here it's a box and it's a coin box and it's just got some holes in it and you can it'll catch the coins like that so we'll just put that box back up in here yeah inside's not very interesting it's just a bunch of in, an empty shell and stuff it's got a board back here that covers the back so you don't see the back you don't see the back until you go in the back of the machine so uh those bolts right there that you see those bolts against the wood that's a i put them i put a computer rack that holds a computer in there so it holds it up in the back i'll show you the back next video I'll put the box back in there and if we close the door I put the coins through the door slot here and then if you heard it it went right through the box and went into the box so we got some quarters in the box there and the dollars go in the, the dollars go in the metal box so that's that oh. So that's that machine, and then I told you earlier I had to put some speakers up in here. I got speakers that are good that'll mount in here. They're German speakers. They're really good. They're, they've got rubber. They're poly. They're poly plastic, so they look and work better than those paper coned speakers. And it really picks up the 8-bit sound. The 8-bit sound of really high bit 8 bits like Nintendo. It picks up that kind of sound really good when you put it on here. Um, this is my desk. That what I did was see if you notice there's two screens there's one here on my arcade and one on my desk what I did was I allowed the uh, there's my Beatles poster up there my Abbey Road um, I, what I did was I let the uh, I hooked the arcade machine to the desk so that so there's my computer my computer is a uh, server it's kind of a server case and it's a little bit too big to fit in the arcade machine so I just stuck it on my desk and run the cable to my arcade. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really nice. I got a Blu-ray burner and a DVD burner and a header for fans. It's got six, seven fans in it, and I'm running a uh, six, six core. Oop, CD drive did that. It comes out on me. Uh, it's got a six core processor. Um. Uh, six core uh, FX 5600 and I'm running a UD3 gigabyte motherboard and I've got 32 gigs of memory and it, it, I mean and, and my graphics card I love my graphics card it's a uh, 7950 a, uh, AMD 7950 HD uh, Radeon and I could play any game in the world on it it's like absolutely fabulous I love all these high I get really really high-end computers to go on my arcade so not only can I game with this system I can also do like computer work over the internet and then program the games I want in it at sitting at my desk sitting at my desk I can program and then come over here and play the games on the machine right next to it so that's why I thought that was cool and then I got my stereos and stuff and my there's some games um, that's about it uh, this is my there's my Sega Genesis 32 and my Genesis console with controller and that's a good tour of about what I got right now and uh, next video I'll be doing the back I'll be doing the back I, let me do some let me do get into out of this the, out of this jukebox and do a little gaming a little gaming right quick before I leave let's see I don't have an eject I don't have an escape button on my on my control panel yet like I said I'm gonna redo it and put six buttons in here and redo the whole console because this console sucks. They someone cut a hole and someone's got a pre-cut hole in it from the last game. 
and it doesn't work too good so okay so I'm gonna reach over here and hit escape out of here and what I'm gonna do is gonna go in here and uh let me close this window and I'm gonna open my ma uh I'm gonna open my main so let's see go to my computer uh, let's see go to my D drive go to my emulation folder all right and my I'm using that GGP GGPO that I was talking about that lets you play games over the internet and uh, let's see we go in here and so there's GGPO. That's a good. This is the one you can play other people on the internet with. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna go and play. I'm gonna load my video game. I'm gonna load one of my games. Um. There's three. I love Three Wonders. I used to own that arcade machine back in the day. I had a, a Three Wonders machine and it got it broke, and I ended up getting rid of it. It ended up. Well, I ended up losing it. I stored it in a storage place and I lost it. So let me see, let's, let's toggle full screen mode. So here we go, here's this game. Three Wonders, Three Wonders is awesome. Alright, so to put the coins in, I could put a quarter in there, or I'm just going to go ahead and hit the, hit the switch. Okay, and then you just pick the game I want. This action game is cool. Let's pick that one. There we go. It's kind of hard doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. So I was sitting here running around. It, it works pretty. It works really good. Let's see if I can shoot some of these guys. I'm getting killed. Like I said, there's not much room in this room to move around. You can't really do much. Um. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can shoot some of these people. Nope, I don't have any buttons. My buttons aren't set up right. Yeah, my buttons aren't mapped. My buttons aren't mapped right. I'll have to come back and do it on a later video. But you see what it does? It does work. It does put. It does go back and forth and play. But that's that's my arcade. Well, I've hit the 19 minute mark on YouTube, so hopefully it'll let me put this all on there. All right, I'll catch you guys later. And uh, um, classic gaming freak. Um, I love all your videos, man. All your stuff's great. Um, I'll just keep you updated and posted, and you guys enjoy it. Uh, have a nice time. I'll see you on YouTube again, and bring you some more videos. Alright, later.